What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? We're back, we're back, we're back. This is Diva Lady Football Channel. You know what it is. I think you already know what it is. Let's subscribe. Let us turn on the notification button. And let's share. Let's share the channel. Let's share the channel to our friends, to football lovers out there. So, today we're discussing a few things. The transfer deals that were made in the EPL. And also, we speak about, you know, transfer links that are happening at home as we know it right now there is a link between uh nukovic and alakli it is said that peter musumane wants uh samir nukovic as a chief striker he wants to use him in alakli wants him to come over in egypt so we know samir nukovic is a striker it's a complete striker in fact in the psl i think is, is one of the most complete striker he's good on air He's good in holding up play. He's very good uh, physically in terms of, of shielding the ball and the defense. But also he's good in terms of, of playing in his feet in, in ball control. And he got 13 goals uh, in, the, in the PSL last season. And he was, I think, the, the third uh, highest top goal, goal scorer. And this is his first season. So in his first season, this guy did very well. He scored 13 goals in the league. And he was... He is a person running for player of the season. And we know that Peter said to him, player of the season is supposed to be Chamba Zwane. But now we're told that, well, he wants him in Egypt. The first thing that I ask myself is that if Peter wants Nukovic in, in Egypt, what about Chamba Zwane? Because Chamba Zwane said he's his best player. He should get Chamba Zwane to Egypt. I think he's going to do miracles for him. He's going to do well for him, as he's been doing for Sundowns. He must get Sereno to Egypt use that combination and I think they can do well. And I'm told that Sanaz won't sell, doesn't sell players to rivals. Doesn't sell players to Alakli because they're African rivals and all that. But also Kaza Chiefs is playing, will be playing Champions League. So there are also rivals who are also rivals of Alakli as well. I don't see why Kaza Chiefs would, would, would sell, would sell Lukovic. And secondly, Kaza Chiefs has no reason to sell anyone right now because they have a transfer ban. They're still waiting for outcomes. And we have still not received outcomes. And now we cannot sign players. And it can't be in the middle of, 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 of all that mess and you want to release players. It can't happen. But luckily, Kaza Chiefs released an, 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 a statement to clarify this. First, there's no bid from Alakli. Second, Kaza Chiefs is not intending to sell their best player. More especially because they are wait, they're still waiting for the case outcomes or the FIFA ban outcomes. So Kaza Chiefs is not selling. Because they're not selling their best player. And that's very good. I'm very happy. And I'm happy that they came forth and clarified, you know, the rumors. The second thing that we need to speak about is that when no transfer is in, transfer window is closed in the EPL. There are a few teams that have made signings. And I, I decided, let's make a review. Let's see which teams have, have got themselves, you know, the best signing. So we're going to review six teams. And now six teams are going to start from the lowest and we'll finish with the team that we think had the best transfer uh, season. First team that, that is at the lowest is Manchester United. Not because uh, they didn't sign good players. Manchester United they signed Edison Cavani, Alex Telles, and Amos Diallo. I think it's Amos Diallo from Atalanta. Very good guys, a very good guy is an attacker. Telles is a left back. Is supposed to come as a backup for for Luke Shaw. And they signed Edison Cavani. But why am I thinking this is a bad this, this is a bad transfer, you know, you, you know, business? First, because Manchester United does not need anyone forward. I, I don't see why Manchester United would bring in Cavani 33 years. Yes, it's free. 33 years Cavani. They have Igalo. They brought is like 31. They went to fetch Igalo from from China, from Shanghai, when he was busy sorting out his retirement, they went to brought him. They, they, they brought him back into 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 England, and now they, while Cavani is busy sorting out his, his retirement, they are bringing him in. And Manchester United has issues at the back; they don't have issues going forward. So I still don't understand the transfer business of Manchester United, the transfer police of Manchester United. Last game we saw, their defense was in shambles. Defense, they have Maguire, they have Lindelof, they have uh, Eric Bailey. It's, it's bad at the back. 
And I still don't understand why bring strikers, why bring a 33-year-old striker when you have issues at the back. When you move to Man City, I, I think in Manchester there's, there's just been there's not been good business this season. But Manchester City, don't undermine them. They're still a, a very good team. I don't think they needed to add more in their team. But same as Manchester United, the problems at the back. They were linked to Koulibaly. Uh, you know, from from Napoli, a very good, 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 good defender. I think he's the second best defender. If if you check how he's doing, how he's he has been doing in in his career, and in his games with Napoli, and they missed up on they missed out on Napoli. They got uh, Diaz and they got Nathan Ake. Nathan Ake was relegated with Bournemouth and they brought him back. And what I think about Nathan Ake is a good defender. He's from Chelsea, he used to play for Chelsea. He's a very good defender. But the problem with him is that he's always injured. He's always injured. And Diaz is from from, from some farmers league in 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 in, in 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 Portugal. I think it's from Portugal, yes. Diaz is from Portugal. I, I, I don't think I, 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 I don't know I, I don't know him that much. I don't think he's gonna make an impact in the EPL. With the speed of the EPL and and, and, and and the demands of the of physicality of EPL, but he's a very good defender. To be honest, a very good defender. I've, I've watched him. Then there is a very good defender. But I don't think it's best is good business, especially or more especially because they were linked to Kulibali and they missed out on one of the best defenders they could have had this season. And the I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's a bad. It's a, it's, they signed bad players. I'm just. Not convinced. I'm not convinced. They got Ferran, Ferran Torres is a winger. I still don't. I'm, I'm not convinced. I don't know why they, they brought in a winger. They don't need winners. The Mares, they have Sterling, they have Bernardo Silva. They have good. They have good players going forward. As to why they added a winger, I don't know. But I think Pep is a good. It's a good coach. Always has a plan for his players. <laughs> we move the other team that I think didn't do so much. You know, good business. It's team number four in the list uh, from coming from uh, from from you know from six five four. Team number four, I think, is Liverpool. Liverpool they added good players, but they didn't need them that much. Yes, there's gonna be an impact. First player is Diogo Jota. Diogo Jota is play used to play for uh, Wolves and is very good in attack. He's a good. You know, replacement in the, in the front of, of of Liverpool can replace anyone. Let's say they have injuries. If they have injuries, Mane has problems. If Salah has problems, if if Firmino has problems, they can easily replace them using Diego Jota, and that that is very good. I think that's that that's good. That's very good. It's a decent. It's not it's not a bad. It's not a bad signing. It's a decent signing. Second signing is Thiago Alcantara from Bayern Munich. I think. That is their best signing right now. And Thiago, we have seen him. We've seen him, we've seen him against Chelsea, though Chelsea was one man down. He's a huge addition in, into that team. Already they have a good midfield, but Thiago is a different breed. Very good in passing, very good in reading the play, in managing the game. Whether you need it to be fast, you need it to be slow, is is very good. I think it's everything. He's a Champions League winner. So... Very good business for, for Liverpool. I gave them number four. On number three, I picked Arsenal. Arsenal did very good business as well. Gordon Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel is a defender, a central defender. Gonna pay, they are going to pay him with Luis and or, or Holdings. They are going to pay them. Either, either three of them. Sometimes plays three of the three defenders. Sometimes plays two. Gabriel is a very competitive defender. Very physical. Very speedy. And I think already is already if you watch Arsenal is already playing game in game out. I think there's a goal. Yeah, I think there's a goal. I, I watched a game where he scored a goal. So already his confidence is up high. He's playing. He's, he's doing very well. Gabriel is doing very well. They brought in Willian on a free on a free transfer. Willian is is, is, is you know is proven. It's proven though I think is is a bit old. But you know, when, when players are old, when Chelsea players are old, we send them to Arsenal. We send them to Arsenal, we give them Pratchek, we give them uh, Luis, now we, we give them, you know, you, you know that, that is what is happening. So, William is a very good good, good winger. You, you, can, you, you can't question him, proven in the EPL with experience and everything. 
and then they got in Thomas Partey. He was from Atletico Madrid, was linked to Chelsea and Arsenal. And Arsenal, they met, you know, they, they, they triggered the, 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 release, the, the release price and they got him on the last day. I think Thomas Partey is from Ghana, of course. I think his addition in the team, the Arsenal team, makes a huge difference. It makes them competitive. It makes them competitive for the top five, for the, for the top four. It makes them competitive for any uh, cup any competition they are in. So I think I can give uh, Arsenal number three, and I think they're going to do well. Already they are fine. They had issues in the midfield. Now that Thomas Partey is in, it's going to sort out a lot of issues in terms of Grand Shaka, they had Torreira. It, things were just, there's, there's El Nene as well, but it's they are not so good players. And bringing in Thomas Partey, it's a huge addition, huge addition. The team that has had one of the best transfer market and no one pays attention to them is team number two. I gave number two to Tottenham Hotspurs. Tottenham Hotspurs is going to kill people this season, I'm telling you. I said it's going to finish in the top four. I don't know who's going to be out and I'm telling you now, Spurs is going to finish in the top four and Spurs had one of the best uh, transfer deals this, the, 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 uh, in this window. They brought in two wing backs. Or two full backs to say. They brought in left and the right back. Le on the left they brought Regulon. On the right they brought Matt Doherty. Already they, those players, if you watch the Spurs, already they are playing, already they are competitive. Matt Doherty is very good, is, is, is from Wolves. And, and Regulon is very good, is from Spain. Is a Madrid player, is very good. You saw, if you watch against Manchester United, it was very good. Going forward, crossing and marking, energetic. So they've done a very good business. Second, they got uh, they got Holbier. Holbier is the player play wearing number five in Arsenal. He got him from from Southampton. He literally played almost all games of of of, of Spurs. And you see you see is one currently currently is one of, of 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 the best holding midfielders. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's one of the best holding mid, mid, midfielders in the EPL. And Moreno is using him very well. He's very comfortable. He can mark. He can he, he can you know. He, he can dispossess players, but he can also pass. This is very good. So I think very huge addition for 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 us and as a, uh, for, for for Spurs. I mean, Spurs also added Bale. You know, Bale cannot question Bale. Once he's fit, I think it's gonna be dangerous. And then they added a new uh, another striker, Vinicius. I think is from is, is a striker from Benfica. Also very good striker, very good finisher, very good replacement when Kane is not there or when Kane is tired. You know, I I don't think they will struggle. I think. Number two, in terms of transfer, transfers they brought in is Arsenal. Is 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 Spurs. I mean, it's Spurs that, that that I can give number two. And then I had to decide. I had to decide. The other team that we didn't, I didn't speak about. That is very. That has done a very good transfer, you know, business. This the, the, in this window is is Everton. I didn't speak about Everton. They brought three players. But in the previous, in the previous, in the in my, in my previous, previous video, I spoke about them. I spoke about them. I mentioned that they brought Ellen, they brought Tokore, they brought uh, brought in uh, James Rodriguez, and now there's Ben Godfrey as well. He's used to play for 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 this team that was relegated, but it's very good for Norwich. Yes, he used to play for Norwich. He used to play. I used to watch him in Norwich. He's very good, comfortable on the ball. He's central. is a central defender. Also can can play as, 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 a, as a central midfielder, very comfortable on the ball. I didn't speak about them. I, I, I just couldn't, couldn't feature in, in the top six that I, that, that, that I mentioned, but good signings. Number one team, number one team that did very good in terms of the side of, 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 of this transfer window is obviously Chelsea. Non-negotiable. Chelsea brought in Hakim Ziyech, still injured, still is coming back. Coming back into into he was called he was called also uh, by his his, his 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 national team, but his coming back was he, he didn't have he has not had a, 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 a game in the EPL. But we know you cannot falter Hakim Ziyech from Ajax. We've seen him in the prim, in, in, in in the Champions League. He's, he's a very good player. Brought in Timo Werner, brought in Kai Havertz, Thiago Silva, and a keep a keeper Eduardo Mendy, and then Ben Chilwell. We sorted out the issue of the keeper. We had issues in, 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 in the goalposts. We've sorted out the, the keeper issues. 
when issues in the defense, we brought in Thiago Silva. And we can see the last game of Chelsea, if you have watched the game of Chelsea, Chelsea was very good at the back, very comfortable. When issues on the left side of, of the back in terms of Marcus Alonso not coming into party when needed the most in terms of... Uh, uh, in terms of Emerson Palmeira, not, not, you know, always out, in and out, in and out, with injuries, struggling with injuries, we brought Ben Chilwell, and his game, perfect. Well experienced in the EPL, and with issues in, the, in, the, in terms of the attacking midfield. In terms of the attacking midfield, we brought in Kai Havertz, we brought in Hakim Ziyech. Kai Havertz is already doing wonders in Chelsea. He's getting there, each and every game, you can see, you can see what this guy is made of. And then we had issues in terms of the striking, in terms of the options in the striker. Brought Timo Werner, very good guy. He has not got, he has not scored his first goal, EPL goal for Chelsea. But I think it's gonna come. It's, 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 that when 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 the goals come, they, they will just come. He's still adapting, but he's doing well. He's playing each and every game. He's good in holding. He's good in making runs. He's good in making the team, you know, flexible up front. So Chelsea make a very good, 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 uh, you know fortune for this in, in terms of this window they took advantage of the of this transfer window and i think they made very good signings problems that they released ross Barkley. you watch you saw how ross Barkley did against liverpool i don't think they should have released Rod, ross black and they released they released ruben loftus cheeks but both of them on loan loftus cheeks is going to fulham i think i think if you release ross you must keep loftus cheek or if you release loftus cheek you must keep ross because these guys yes Ross has not been so good for us, but there are games where you need Ross Barkley. When you play against Liverpool, Ross has always played well. Against Liverpool, Ross Barkley has always played well. Even for Chelsea, even for Everton, the time I was still playing for Everton, Ross was, was, was very good. And in certain games, Ross Barkley is very. There's games where Ross is good, but in most many games, it's just it, it, does, it doesn't show up. But it's good for him. Game time. Ruben Loftus-Cheek has been struggling with injuries. Now he's in in Fulham. I think he's gonna get game time there. I think he's going to get game time, and that is what he needs. The last time he was on loan, he went to Crystal Palace. He did very well. Chelsea had to bring him back. But right now, he's been struggling with injuries. He had a long, almost a whole, a, a long injury that took almost the whole season. And that, that, that's very worrying. But I think with him in Fulham, it's going to be, it's going to be good for him, for his confidence and moving forward. We were linked to Thomas Pate. We missed out on Thomas Pate. Arsenal took, took. Very good for Arsenal, very good for Arsenal, but I don't think we need him that much with Jorginho, with Kante, with Kovacic, Chelsea, Chelsea is just fine. I think Chelsea, I give Chelsea number one, this trans, 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 transfer window, but I know people are going to disagree, like for instance, Manchester United, people are going to disagree, going to say they brought in Van de Beek, but they don't need Van de Beek, I mean, in the midfield, they have everyone, and I gave them, you know, in terms of my top six, they are the last ones, they are the lowest ones, and... Liverpool people might argue, Arsenal people might argue as well, because I've heard Arsenal people arguing, saying that they're, they're having one of the best, you know, transfer season, and, and Man City people might argue as well. But if you have issues, if you are disagreeing with what I'm saying, you are free to do that. Let's do it in the comments. Comment, let's share, let's subscribe, comment, disagree with me on the, on the comments, say what you think uh, the top, you know, six best transfer, uh, you know, teams Teams that did well in, in the transfer market, make your own comment. And I'm glad Nukovic, you know, is remaining with Kaiser Chiefs. You know, you know what it is. Thank you, guys.